Breaking news out of Pakistan. Prime Minister Imran Khan is no longer the prime minister. He's just been voted out of office after a motion of no confidence was brought against him. 174 members have recorded their votes in favor of the resolution. Consequently, the resolution for vote of no confidence against Mr. Imran Khan, the Prime Minister of Islamic Republic of Pakistan, has been passed by a majority of the total membership of the National Assembly. This is the first time in Pakistan's history that a no-confidence motion against a prime minister has been successful. One of Khan's allies, the Speaker of the National Assembly, resigned from his position earlier in the day. For more on this, we're joined now by Rebecca Bandhan. Rebecca, tell us more about this latest set of events that have just unfolded. Yes, there's been high drama all day, really, in Pakistan's parliament, with uh, it being announced that this vote would go ahead on, on Saturday, but it was repeatedly delayed. There were a lot of angry exchanges, a lot of debates going on between uh, supporters and opponents. Eventually, it did take place, though, just after midnight, and it did secure that, that majority, as very much expected, uh, the, the members actually voting against Imran Khan, that vote of no confidence uh, going through which means he's, he's been ousted uh, from power. Now, this vote had originally been due to take place on Sunday, but Imran Khan's party actually managed to block that. Uh, then it was the Supreme Court that ruled that this vote had to go ahead today, and it did, and that's what's happened now. Now, the number of factors have actually uh, led up to this vote uh, taking place. Um, firstly, uh, there's been, uh, after uh, Mr Khan came to power in uh, 2018, he came to power on promises of, anti-corruption, but the opposition has actually accused him of not delivering on that. They've also said that he's mismanaged the country. Pakistan is facing a number of economic challenges, including rising prices, record levels of foreign debt. Uh, and, Mr. and Khan also lost the support of his allies in recent weeks. Um, and also, apparently as well, it's reportedly the case that he also lost some of the support of the, the military, which plays an important role uh, in uh, Pakistani politics, although that's not been uh, confirmed. Now, Khan actually accused the US of being behind a conspiracy uh, to get him ousted uh, from power. Again, Washington has denied those claims. Um, but, but Khan has actually called for, called for protests to take place. He has said that he won't accept what he describes as an imported government. And so what does all this mean? If Khan is out of office and seemingly he has accepted the vote, he has left the prime minister's residence, what does all of this mean for Pakistan? Well, it, sadly, it means further instability uh, economically and politically, potentially. And already, uh, Pakistan is in a precarious position when it comes to its politics, economics, that difficult economic situation that it's facing at this, at this point in time. And this only creates further uncertainty. Now the process will be that, yes, Pakistan has to appoint a new prime minister. The National Assembly will choose that uh, prime minister. It's very much expected that that's going to be uh, Shehbaz uh, Sharif. Now, he's the, the leader of the opposition there. He's not uh, somebody that's well known internationally, but he's actually the, the, the brother of a, a former prime minister of, of Pakistan. And then what will happen is there's going to be, eventually there will be a general election. Now, whether that will take place next year, which is when one is next due to be held, or it could take place, there could be a snap election as well. Uh, so certainly, like, a lot of uncertainty about what's actually uh, going to happen now. And then Khan, of course, saying that, that he doesn't uh, really want to recognise uh, this new government. So he has actually called uh, for, for protests, he said peaceful protests, uh, to take place in Pakistan on Sunday. Rebecca Bandhan, thank you so much.